Well, I'd now like to introduce two students to you, um, uh, WGU Washington students. I'm practicing, and we'll all have that chance. Um, Connie Summers and Aaron Larson. So good morning. Uh, they're allowing me to do a 30-minute speech, and some of it's in Greek, so are you ready? OK, fine. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see me pull that off, too. So uh, again, my name is Connie Summers. I am a very proud student of Western Governors University. And just to tell you a little bit about myself, um, I, have, I am a cultural diversity and inclusion manager at a major aerospace company here in the Puget Sound. <laughs> Couldn't imagine what that is. Um, I, I have had a fantastic career at the company. And like Dan, uh, I've come to the point to where if I'm going to go further, and I am certainly talented enough to do that, I need to get my degree. And so I checked out a few online options because uh, as a mom and as a wife um, and an individual with an absolutely extraordinary schedule. I do a lot of international work, so I'm on the phone sometimes at 3 a.m. in the morning teaching a class. And so with that kind of schedule, I needed some flexibility. And so I took a look at several online opportunities uh, because I am quite the researcher, and I'm picky, picky, picky. And so uh, I found WGU. Uh, after checking out a couple of opportunities that did not suit my needs. And the reason that I chose Western Governors University is because quality is very important to me. The degree that I earn has to be a degree from a quality institution. This is an institution that is uh, focused on me, the student. It's focused on perpetuating learning and not just generating a piece of paper. It is a competency-based model, and, and based on where my career is, that's a, very important, uh, that's a very important aspect of it. I have a member, uh, I have a mentor named Bob Rinquist, and I love Bob Rinquist a lot. He has been with me since the very beginning, and for someone like me, boy, do I need a mentor to make it through. So he, I, I have him to support me throughout my entire experience at WGU. My plan is to graduate at the end of the year. And when I graduate, there are a couple of things that I'm anticipating happening. One, I'll give a 30-minute speech and part of it in Greek. <laughs> but the other thing is that I'm going to obtain so much more than just a piece of paper or, or something that's going to help me achieve that higher level. I'm going to walk away with the satisfaction that I have gone through a learning experience in which I have given my best, demonstrated my best, and I'll have a quality education that not only I can be proud of, but my 20-year-old son as well. Thank you. So with that, I'd like to introduce one of my new favorite people, Erin Larson. Thank you, Connie. Uh, hello, thank you for letting me be here today to talk. I am Erin Larson, and I work for Ion Media Networks full time. I have four children and two very demanding dogs. And um, my kids are ages 3 to 18 years old. And I also volunteer regularly for Senior Services of Seattle. Um, you know, we've all heard the term midlife crisis. <laughs> it seems like when people go through midlife crisis, they go on a big vacation, or they buy a sports car, or they go bungee jumping, or something crazy. Well, I decided to be a little different. Um, I decided to make a huge, overwhelming, expensive, but not so much, but for my family life, expensive commitment. And um, I decided to enroll in college. <laughs> 
So in 2008, at the age of 39, uh, with a six-month-old baby, I enrolled in Western Governors University Teachers College to completely change my career. So I'm hoping to become a science teacher at the end of, of uh, my time at WGU. Thank you. And hopefully, if everything goes right, I'll be graduating in about six months. Thank you. Now, you know, um, I would have bought a racy little yellow sports car for my midlife crisis. I really would have. But have you ever tried to strap a baby seat into one of those things? <laughs> Doesn't work. So I, uh, I started a new, a new thing. I, I call it my productive midlife crisis. Now, I've always known that I should have a bachelor's degree. And I um, always thought teaching would be a, a real kick. But, you know, I never thought I would ever have the opportunity to do both. And when I found WGU and its online model, I thought, <laughs> this could work. And uh, I immediately enrolled and got involved and immediately loved the mental challenge of it. I felt for the first time invigorated and accomplished and I felt successful. Now, I, I ran into a lot of challenges uh, in the beginning. I had to escape to the public library just to get away from all the family noise. Um, and there were moments when I really didn't think I would ever make it through my history class. Um, but I also had classes that I excelled at, and they propelled me forward with confidence. Now, the classes were, were difficult, and the online coursework was really comprehensive and, and difficult. But I always had a mentor there, and we all love our mentors, I'll tell you that. And, um, I always felt connected through the online communities at WGU in ways that I never felt connected before when I attended other community colleges way earlier in life. Um, you know, my, my questions were always answered and addressed, and the coursework when I was confused was always uh, made clear to me, which wasn't always easy because I was taking biology labs in my house and chemistry math, which was so hard. But Western governors, opened doors in my life that I never thought I'd even have the chance to knock on. You know, I am so excited about the launching of WGU Washington. I'm glad that my midlife crisis led me to WGU because now in the very rare quiet moments in my life when I reflect on the person I have become and am still becoming, I'm proud of what I see. You know, through this tough experience, I found reassurance in my strength of character and reassurance in my ability to finish something difficult, and reassurance that I could make my dreams a reality. But perhaps most importantly, because of WGU, I have become a positive role model in the families, in, the, in my children's lives, and that's important to me. Thank you. Now I'd like to invite students, Connie Summers and Dan Sweetwood, back up here to help us unveil the WGU Washington website. Are we ready? Okay. Are we, you want to count down with this? Okay. How about three, two, one, press. <laughs> Voila! Yay! <laughs> Uh, Aaron and Connie, great job again. I have to tell you, I love data. I love high completion rates. I love high retention rates. But you inspire me to do my job. And thank you so much. That was great. And Aaron, um, maybe we could meet later. I'm thinking community college would be an excellent teaching opportunity for you. And there are about 10 to 12 presidents that probably would might uh, want to talk to you also. Um, wow, what a way to end. Uh, it really puts a face on what we're trying to do to better serve the people who live and work in our community to help them truly achieve their goals and dreams. Well, I want to thank each of you for taking part in today's program.
especially the students. We wish you great success and keep in touch. Um, and thank you everyone who's in the audience for being here and for your commitment to the students that we serve and the community, to our economy, to making it a better place for all of us. Thank you, we're done. Thank you.